the day we are taking a look at these NCAAF matches, which are happening on Monday, December 27, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the High Stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. Boston College vs East Carolina the East Carolina Pirates have been playing well this season as they are 7-5 so far. They are being led by junior quarterback Holton Allers so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 35-13 home loss to the Cincinnati Bearcats. The biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed the Bearcats to pass for 10.8 yards per passing attempt throughout the game. East Carolina comes into Monday's bowl games riding a high from the end of the season, and while Boston College limped to the finish line, the Pirates are playing some of their best football of the last couple of years. The matchups work out great fr the Pirates as well. Plagued by a struggling defense, they get to see one of the worst defenses they'll see all season. The Eagles have been mired with inconsistency and will need to find a way to break out of the offensive slump that has seen them lose five of their last seven games. In addition, East Carolina has an offense that will be up to the challenge, and they come in far healthier than the Eagles. According to Covers.com, Boston College is 0-4 Austrian shillings in their last four bowl games as a favorite. The Boston College Eagles have been average this season as they are 6-6 so far. They are being led by junior quarterback Phil Jerkovec so far, and that is going to help them progress throughout the regular season. They are coming off a 41-10 home loss against the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. The biggest problem that popped up was the fact they allowed the Demon Deacons to hold the football for 36-13 throughout the game. Our first betting advice is to pick East Carolina plus 3. Boston College's offense has struggled to juggle injuries all season long, especially at the quarterback position, which certainly hasn't helped. Dennis Grossel has seen the majority of the snaps, but Phil Jerkovec is the leader going forward. Both could see snaps on Monday, but considering they've combined for only 13 touchdowns and 11 interceptions, it's hard to imagine the Eagles getting a lot of production at that position. The Eagles rank 103rd nationally in total offense, while ranking 103rd in scoring offense. Known for having a strong ground game over the last few years, they still come in rank 61st nationally in rushing yards per game, with the ground game probably being their best opportunity to move the ball. One to keep an eye on is A. Flowers, one of the best wide receivers in college football, who has the ability to change the game on a dime. East Carolina's offense has taken a big step forward this season, ranking in the top half of football in a number of offensive categories, but is yet to see a defense as stout as Boston College's. Their key will be trying to control the ground game. Boston College is a run-heavy offense and whoever can control the clock likely will have the upper hand in this one. Holton Allers has had a great season at quarterback, tossing for over 3,000 yards. He only has 18 touchdowns to show for that though and is averaging nearly a turnover a game. The key is Keaton Mitchell, one of the most elusive running backs in the country, who has over 1,000 yards on the ground this season. He's averaging 6.5 yards per rush on the ground, and if he can continue with that type of effort, Boston College's defense could find themselves on the field for some long periods of time. Over 52.5.